Good morning. Welcome to Current Scum World. In this video, let us study particle in a ring problem. Okay. In this, the electron is restricted to move in a circular ring. We will see the Schrodinger equation for a particle in a ring and solve the Schrodinger wave equation to obtain the energy levels and the wave functions. Okay, let us consider an electron moving in a circular path. Okay, so this is an electron moving in a circular path in a ring. Okay, let us consider this position x equal to 0. This is the origin. Okay, and the electron travels one complete circle that is c equal to circumference of the circle. Therefore, x equal to 0. Okay, and then and x equal to c. Okay, x equal to c. Therefore, psi of x, the wave function at position x equal to that is x plus c okay x plus c x plus 2c x equal to 0 equal that is x equal to c or x equal to 2c etc this is very similar to particle in a one dimensional box particle in a ring this system is very similar to particle in a one dimensional box so let us use the Schrodinger wave equation for a particle in a one dimensional box. H cap psi equal to E psi that is the Schrodinger wave equation in differential form in double derivative this is the Schrodinger wave equation for a particle in one dimensional box. We have uh, already studied uh, please watch the video if you have not uh, studied d square psi by dx square plus 8 pi square m h square e minus v psi equal to 0 where e is the total energy and v is the potential energy. In this case the potential energy is assumed to be 0 for a particle in one dimensional box for a particle in ring the potential energy is assumed to be 0. Okay. So since it is 0 v is equal to 0 this term is a constant term. So, let us consider k square equal to 8 pi square m by h square e e. Okay. So, let us substitute in this. This is a second order differential equation. It can be readily solved. On solving this equation to we get the wave function psi equal to a sin k x plus b cos k x. This is obtained by solving this equation. This is a second order differential equation. Okay, now we need to find A value. We don't know A value in order to um, know the wave function to define, uh, to describe the path of the particle. We, we should know the psi. We, know, we don't know A, B, K. Okay. Let us apply the boundary conditions to obtain A, K, A and B. So, now psi of 0 that is psi x equal to 0 equal to psi of C that is and now there are two boundary conditions 1 x equal to 0 okay, here x equal to 0. Let us substitute x equal to 0 in the equation 3. So, A sin k0 plus B cos k0 that is psi equal to sin 0 equal to 0 cos 0 equal to 1 therefore B. So, psi equal to B. Okay. Then 2 the boundary condition 2 x equal to C. Okay. Then let us substitute C in the place of x. Okay. So, psi that is psi equal to B now. Okay, therefore, uh, A sin kc plus B cos kc psi equal to B. Therefore, write this equation call it as 4. So, according to postulates of quantum mechanics, 
psi and d psi by dx are continuous functions since psi and d psi by dx are continuous functions then d psi by dx okay at x equal to 0 equal to d psi by dx at x equal to c, c okay therefore let us now psi equal to we have already seen okay let us differentiate the wave function psi with respect to x then d psi by dx equal to a this k constant will come here a k cos k x and cos k x is minus sin x okay differentiation therefore minus p k sin k x now let us uh, similar to psi in the previous slide let us apply the two boundary condition there are two boundary conditions x equal to 0 so let us um, d psi by dx equal to a k cos x equal to 0 let us put x equal to 0 here okay so this is cos 0 1 and sin 0 0 therefore d psi by dx equal to a k now let us apply the secondary boundary con secondary second boundary condition x equal to c d psi by dx equal to a k sin um, okay here what is uh, sin k c minus b cos k c therefore a k equal this a k equal to this expression let us call this as equation number 5 okay let us now write the equation 4 and 5 again here to solve for k let us multiply 4 by b k okay so that uh, we will obtain the value for k 4 is multiplied by b k therefore b square k equal to a b k sin k c plus b square k cos k c okay and then multiply equation by by a capital a so what will a square k equal to a square k cos k c minus a b k sin k c okay this term this term will get cancelled now let us add 6 plus 7 let us add equations 6 and 7 so this will be cancelled b square k plus a square k and b square k cos k cos k c plus a square cos k c okay let us call this as equation 8 now from equation 8 okay cos k c equal to 1 sin k c equal to 1 okay so by mathematic mathematics according to mathematical conditions cos 2 n pi equal to 1 we know that cos 2 n pi equal to 1 that means kc equal to 2 n pi ok now cos theta equal to cos minus theta it is also known cos theta therefore uh, n equal to plus or minus 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 yeah, because cos theta equal to cos minus theta ok now k value is known k equal to 2n pi by c let us substitute in the first slide k square equal to by substituting we will get e the energy expression the energy for a particle in a one dimensional box n square h square by 2mc square where c is the where c is the circumference of the circle m is the mass of the electron n square n is the quantum number ok h square Planck constant ok we know kc equal to 2n pi therefore k equal to 2n pi by c now let us substitute in the wave function ok the wave function is used to describe the state of the system. So, it is very important psi equal to a let us substitute k in this expression sin 2n pi c ok 
we know n, we know pi and circumference of the circle. Okay. So now we know e equal to n square h square by 2 mc square. Okay, for particle in a ring. For particle in one dimensional box, n square h square by 8 m a square. Okay, where a is the length of the box. Now for n equal to 0, n equal to 0, then e equal to 0. Let us substitute here n equal to 0, therefore a sin 0 and b cos 0, a sin 0, sin 0 equal to 0, therefore 0, therefore psi equal to b. Now by applying normalization condition, we can obtain a and b values. Okay. By normalization, according to normalization condition, the integral 0 to c, okay, a sin this way psi square dx equal to 1. On solving this, the a values and b values are obtained. a equal to square root of 2 by c cos alpha, b equal to square root of 2 by c sin alpha, alpha may have any value. In this lecture, for this lecture, I have followed the reference book A.K. Chandra Quantum Chemistry. Thank you for watching. Please share and subscribe. Thank you again.